What's going on everyone? Uh, Tim with Real Rigs Rattle here. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a little DIY project. Many of you I'm sure uh, airing down, airing up is not always the funnest part about being off-road, but it's the reality of it. I mean, there's plenty of benefits to it. Plenty of systems as well. I mean, you can just, you can go around each valve stem with a, you know, five dollar gauge and you're your car key and air down. I usually don't like ones that touch valve stems, kind of like the uh, the ARB system, but I've always wanted to go with a kind of in deflate or more deflate uh, type system, the, the four tire setup. And that's what I went with today. And what we have here is the DIY setup that I came together with. Uh, this is borrowed heavily from a couple other people's uh, setups that I found on tutorials online. And as you can see, we have all four tires hooked up at the same time. And we have plenty of line. So this is 50 feet of hose. I bought two 25 footers. So uh, let me show you. The reason I went with two 25 footers instead of just a single 50 foot hose is so you can if you buy a 25 footer, these are actually from Harbor Freight. Uh, this is the cheapest hose that they make. Uh, what you'll get is these fittings already crimped on, so you don't have to worry about using a barb and a hose at the actual air fitting side. And then you'll have a, let's see, You'll have a T-fitting on each side and then hose clamps. And as you can hear, there's no, hopefully you can hear there's no air leaks. Um, so, now you don't have to go with a digital gauge. I just went with this because um, it was fairly cheap and I needed to hit a certain uh, price for prime shipping. Um, the majority of this hardware was purchased from Harbor Freight. The only thing that wasn't is this gauge the T's and actual uh, lock-on air chucks. So this entire setup um, cost me about $90 in parts. Um, I already had these little bungee cords and this clip that may cost more for kind of a wire management solution. But as you can see, it's been keeping about 29 PSI this entire time. Um, if you want to air down, you just air down or air up uh, with the design that I went with here. You just... You see it, it drops down pretty rapidly. Um, don't uh, point this at your face. It's just pointing at the camera. I'm actually standing off to the side right now. Uh, anything above 10 PSI can cause eye damage or uh, any other orifice damage. So do not point that at your face. Um, definitely stand off to the side whenever you're doing that just as a precaution um, so yeah um, most companies tend to charge I think the cheapest I've seen is about 90 bucks for a two tire system and the most expensive I've seen I think is about hundred and sixty dollars and that usually doesn't include a digital game. so one of the reasons that I purchased this setup is Harbor Freight actually had a sale uh, well, it was a coupon and it was, I believe, 30% off all uh, items below $10. And all of this hardware was less than $10 per item. They're $18 a piece for the 25 foot. Um, these two T's that I put together, uh, those are, I believe, $4 a piece. This valve's $4. Uh, this quick disconnect plug, is I believe two dollars this was thirteen dollars and this was purchased off Amazon I'll go ahead and post an entire part and post an entire part build sheet uh, down in the uh, description and let's see what else can I go over with the cost um, these teas I believe it was eight dollars for a three pack you only need two and then these lock-on air chucks um, I picked them up for $12 for four. And 
I'm really looking forward to using the setup uh, as I get out on the trails a little bit more often. Um, I'm going to wind up pairing this with a Vi Air 88P more than likely. And I'll go into another video with that of how I connect this to a Vi Air 88P. What I've actually been using this entire time uh, for the past uh, almost two years uh, is this dinky little thing. It actually came out of uh, a Hyundai Accent because those don't come with a spare tire. Um, they come with a fix-a-flat kit and that little uh, compressor. So, yeah, they come with a fix-a-flat kit and that tiny little compressor. And that thing gets really freaking hot. I'm surprised it hasn't melted down on me yet. Um, and it takes about, I'd say a good 8 to 10 minutes per tire to air, to air up from 20 to 30 PSI. And that's just, that's time that, I mean, in most cases, that's 30 to 40 minutes of just airing back up. Depending on how far away you are from home on a trail run, you might already be home um, in 30 to 40 minutes. Now this will probably wind up shaving only 10 to 15 minutes off, depending on how strong of an air compressor you go with. But um, I'll be posting those results in the future as well. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.